All right, welcome back, everyone. We are on episode two of Harada Bitter Breath's adventures into stealing everyone, or stealing everything, and eating people's flesh in Skyrim, which, which sounds horrifying because it is. So we're picking up from where we left off. It's a little bit after 8 p.m. We experienced a game crash, which is a little but unfortunate, right? But we're gonna be running around and seeing if we can't get a new lantern. We're going to be trying to get some new lockpicks and pretty much, what was the other thing? We got into a fist fight, so if we could do a little bit more combat training, that would be very helpful too. So we we do have a plan, There's right? First, we're, we're gonna see if we can get inside here. Can of we course. come in? Hey, look at that. Let us right in. So one of the things I that we can do is steal. Trouble. What can I do for you, friend? No, no trouble at all. We're just here to, you know, chat and I think he's upstairs, right? So we're uh, just gonna just gonna borrow a few things, right? We we just come in here, you know. He doesn't have all that much. It's like an anvil and stuff, but where's where's all your hey hey buddy what what's up? Doing that for? Nah, don't don't mind me. Where's where's all like your metal, right? All right, we have some stuff up here, but I think I think he's gonna follow us around now. So we're gonna see if we can just borrow a few items that we can uh, break down later. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, he he doesn't really have much. A little disappointing, gotta be honest, but I guess that's okay. Yeah, he he comes running right over to us when we uh get out of view, but that's okay. I think we have, I think we have what we came for. <laughs> Harada has a terrible sense of direction. I guess yeah, that's that's part of canon now, right? Let's see. Uh, are we still live? Can y'all still? Hear me? I just had my, uh... Reconnecting. What the heck's going on? Why did we stop live streaming? <clears throat> okay, that was kind of weird. Um, yeah, we're we're fine now. I guess for some reason the stream just stopped. That was a little bit strange. Anyway, we uh, here. I don't want to waste that. So we still have all of these diamonds, and we have all of the silver, and now we have a bunch of iron stuff here. So that sword and that shield, which we're very quickly going to break down. And where is the, the furnace here, the smelter? So we'll quickly use this. Craft back some iron. And this is why we invested in smithing, right? Is so that we could really quickly just go in here and smelt our own lantern. There it is, one iron lantern. And we're gonna use the rest of it for some uh, lock picks, so why not? Here's the other thing. Hey, nice, we got a smithing level up. We can also take all of the stolen silver that we have and use it to craft some necklaces. So we have five silver ingots. I say we use that to craft 25 necklaces and holy crap, look at that. We went from level one to level six in smithing, just like that, right? So now, now instead of having those stolen items, we have totally legitimate silver necklaces that we can sell at pretty much any merchant. So that's definitely an upgrade, in my opinion. Nice, we do have a few other things, ill-gotten gains that we need to get rid of. So why don't we work on that? We're at like about 150 gold. So, and I, uh, oh, here, now we can finally, oh, we have light, right? Real light. 
<clears throat> oh, there was this guy, right? All right, let's, uh, here, let's make sure we have our healing aura. I think we're also going to go down into the sewers and do some exploring. But before we do that, we are going to take... Let's do our apple cabbage stew, because it isn't, like, exceptionally powerful here, but... You. You a dark elf lover? I don't, I don't like, like your it. attitude. Don't think I can take you? All right. All right. Let's fight Fists him. Only. So now we have stamina. None of that magic stuff either. Let's go. Come on. Let's see what yeah. you're made of. Whoa! What in the heck? That was kind of weird. Um. Oh man, he's hitting hard. You guards need to get the heck out of the way. He has no stamina left. in your precious forests, elf. I say we just go straight for it, right? We have a bunch of stamina. Oh, I missed. Oh, he took Stuma. He took Skuma. Now we're out of stamina. You ready to die today? Huh? Dramatic. Damn you. What the heck? These guards, man. They're trying to get themselves You're dead. killed. Dead. All right, let's just go for it. Finish it. There we go. Piece of cake. Right? Now, do we actually have... Yeah, like, we, we have uh, about seven minutes of apple cabbage stew regen. It doesn't feel like we have that much. Here, we'll put this away because we're trying to save it. So there we go. We earned a quick hunter gold, right? That wasn't a fair swing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me, yeah. Give me my yeah. money. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> so, what we'll do is we'll run run down under. I know that uh, this, this first area right here isn't dangerous, so that's good. Alright, we can see what else is down here. Um, let's see, I guess, I, I think this oh, makes her a, uh, like an ally, right? And we can use something? the speech craft, uh... Can we get training for her? We can. She can train us in smithing? That is so unexpected, except we're, we're not gonna ask for any smithing training. What we're really looking for is uh, pickpocket training, which I'm sure she will happily give us here, right? Well, thank you very much. A little bit of training there. And I think it's this way, right? The, yes, the Outlaw Refuge is accessible down through here. And this is where we can sell all of our stolen goods. You have questions? Yeah, what do you give me for these? I give special rates to members of the Thieves Guild. Oh, well, Show well, me what you've got. We're not a member of the Thieves Guild, but. So, let's see. We we could sell these here, but I think we're going to wait until like the normal daytime because we get kind of a, a crappy price. Uh, we'll sell this, right? We're going to get a bad deal. That's okay. And even though these are worth like 600 gold each, I, I don't like wandering around with them. Oh my god, we are so close to a level up. Until next time. We are really close to a level up. Can we... Can we go in here and just kind of like slash at this thing? Until we get just a quick level up? Look at that. Look at that. Up to level three. Put it into health because we need more health. Now what are we going to invest in? Oh, what a what a question, right? Oops, didn't mean to step forward there. Um, okay, that was really weird. Let's try that again. There we go. <coughs> we could do straight into pickpocket, and that would increase our chances and make it so that 
we can apply poisons to people or we can take the money we have and basically like supercharge our chance of being able to successfully pickpocket gold. And I like that idea. So why don't we head outside? It'll be, you realize, yeah, see, I'm, I'm trying to disable those and I can't remember the mod that controls them. So this is where the, uh, I think it's crate. Actually, yeah, we can break those down really quickly. Uh, remember, we're, we're looking for, all, we're always looking for iron, right? Um, what the heck? Oh, the iron pot, so there we go. It looks like this is the way down. Okay, so it's uh, it's through this little banner here, and I think, yeah. So we can we can kind of cut through, right there, right? Nice. I heard a rat. <laughs> so we're gonna pick this guy up here. Bring him, bring him with us. Skeever carcass. That might be a bug, but. We, uh, we could use some more ingredients. Let's see if there's any other uh, easy target practice we have down here, right? Is our light on? Yeah, the light is on, right? It shows how important it is. Um, here? Building glass, fishing rod. Wow, that is just kind of sad. What we got in here? Raw beef. That can be really helpful for beef stew. If you remember, beef stew will buff our uh, health by upwards of 50 points. So, oh, look at the puppy. So we're gonna hold on to that. No, that's empty. What else we got kicking around here? Anything out of the marketplace, maybe? You have to be careful. Mm. Oh. Flying rats. Oh, there's another one over there. <laughs> Looks like these skeevers aren't going to cause us too much trouble. But I'm a little bit more concerned about mud crabs. I mean, they... Here, you know what we could do? Speak quickly. I'm being attacked! Huh? Help! Come on! Come on! That's how we do it. Recruit some help in finding these stupid things. Okay, here's a mud crab. It took that one out pretty easily, right? Any others kicking around here? Thought I saw something move. No. Maybe. What did he miss? Oh, there it is. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's there's a mud crab down here too. Oh! I don't wanna accidentally whack this guy, but So there's the there's the uh skeever dead. Oh man, he's going for it. Guy's getting all the action. Teach you to mess with me. <sighs> wow. Alright, we're up to level eight in one handed. Oh my god, did this Where did, did that guy leave or like I don't know, but He vanished. Vanished into thin air right in front of us. No, he's back here. Okay, he's fine. Speak quickly. <clears throat> oh, look, he sells Take stuff. A look. How much gold does he have? He has a uh, two hundred gold. Not bad. Oh my God! Look how much he's willing to buy our silver necklaces for. Like way more, right? I mean, he is a peddler, so yeah, let's sell him some of these. Okay, what's he got for sale? Right? I mean, we could just straight up murder Until him. Next time but he kind of helped us a lot. So it's good to have allies, right? You can't eat everyone. I mean, we can eat most people, but, but not everyone. Oh, I can 
barely see anything. I don't think we're in any danger, particularly. Oh, alright, we got a mug crab. Bam! Manor District. We might head there next. Yeah, we can afford to carry them. Excellent. What's that? Oh, Skeever. Ske uh, Skeever! Kill the Skeever! What do we got in here? Expert level? Oh, but we can open this. Enchanting supplies and a single septum. Yeah, well. Looks like there's a book in there, but I guess we'll not be not be seeing what it is or oh. <clears throat> excuse me I'm, I'm a little hesitant to go into the water here because I don't know what's in there can we take these whoa instructions be careful as you enter the sewers Falmer living down there oh well, we found this guy all right gold break down your sword and all of your uh, equipment here. Oh, I'm fighting? Uh-oh. It says I'm fighting. Oh, okay. Oh. Hold on, I need to clear my throat and then we'll chase after that stupid skeever. Now there is... One other stealth-driven quest that I'm aware of here. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. All my goods are legitimate, which is more than I can say for some. Nothing in here is stolen? Of course nothing in here is stolen. Only a careless, shameful, idiotic fetcher would do something as stupid as to buy pilfered goods. Oh, by Azura, I've made a terrible mistake. I bought a gold ring, and Viola Giordano has been missing a ring that looks just like it. I can return it's it. It's not that easy. She'd go to the Jarl if she knew I was even remotely involved. You have to get it to her some other way. Look, it's dangerous. But if you sneak the ring into her house, put it in a dresser or something, I will make it worth your while. See, Some I never like this, this quest Me, I call because I think you should be able to do a speech check that says, hey, I found your ring. and But it requires like level 50 speech and she'll be like, you know, how, how did you get this ring? I should report you to the guards, right? Something like that. Oh my goodness. Look at, look at some of these. Uh... Oh, okay. We, let's see, so Orcish, yeah, I think we're gonna go, we, we could get some, some silver arrows. But I say we go for Orcish, let's go for like 15 of them, right? Well, now nah, we'll just buy all, screw it. <laughs> hey, scaled boots, should we get those too? Hmm, I think we'll, uh, no, we're... What do our current boots give us, right? 35 versus 54. So again, like, you know, 20 extra. I think it's worth just buying those. Any other ingredients? Void salts, good lord. Anything we can kind of sell here? Might be advantageous for us to get rid of. Uh, mm, fire resist we don't need. And we're gonna wear those. Okay. Don't let Viola catch you in her house. Oh, I'm. S oh no, we. Uh, so first we we put on the scaled boots. Could just keep her ring. <laughs> fur plate. There we go. The fur boots. That's what we're breaking down. Anything? Have a look uh, around. I buy and sell just about anything. Sure, we will have a look around. Anything good? We do need a couple of these. Uh, <laughs> troll fat. I'm always happy to see a customer, but I won't <laughs> deal in stolen goods. That's trouble I don't need. No, oh, sure, definitely. We uh, we hate stolen goods. You know, we. What are you doing? Oh, what was that? 
Oh no, oh no! Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Now's... Now's the real test, right? Oh, I missed! I freaking missed! Did he just pick up another weapon? Ah! 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 All right, we need more Magicka. I don't have any Magicka potions. I don't have any Magicka potions. Are you serious right now? This is not happening. Okay, just stay calm. You need to calm down, bro, and I need more Magicka. Oh, we're so close. Come on. Just a little bit more. You dare challenge me? I might have to kill him if we don't get our Magicka back soon. Oh, we're so close. How much do I need? Your end Here we go. Near. Oh my god, he's still angry. All right, plan B. Oh. Well, <laughs> so much for, uh, so much for that. Oh my goodness. Um, I guess we murdered him in cold blood. Well, well now we can take all of his goods, I guess. It's definitely gonna be time to go. All I was doing. Hey, we get to take his void salts though. All I was doing was trying to take everything that wasn't nailed down. Oh, fancy clothes. Let's see, what else we have that's valuable around here? Um. No, those those aren't really valuable. Yeah, we'll we'll take these, right? We'll take those. Uh oh, what did I just pick up? This is a speech book. Take that. Thank you very much. Did I pick something up we can break down? Um What was it? What did I pick up that was so heavy? Oh, like a tankard? Yeah, no thanks. And, uh, we can probably just get rid of all the wood here. Wood left at the scene of the crime. Where is his, uh, like his, his inventory chest here? Right, is that it? Or I guess we'll pick this. We have time. We have 50 lockpicks, too. I'm a little bit worried because I think it says it still has a uh, our, our bounties on our head, right? How am I missing this up? Further up like that? Yeah, there we... Maybe? Come on. There we go. Wow, excellent. Okay. Perfect. Here, we'll take that. There's the there's the lantern we were looking for, right? Oh my goodness. Look at all these. Those are all legitimate. We could take those. So uh here, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna hide the body. As best we can. There we go. <laughs> Fishing map? Yeah, no thanks. I'm a little bit surprised you didn't have like a merchant chest or something like that. Or else I'm just kind of missing it around here. But... Alright. <laughs> now we're gonna have to keep a low profile when we go outside. Anything else we can take around here? No. Now what's marked as stolen, uh, stolen in our inventory here? Yeah, the void salts. We, uh, here, we can learn these, the traits, right? We'll go through and learn some traits. Oh, that, hold on, something else. Yeah, the uh, frost salts are marked as stolen as well. 
Learn all those traits. Anything else here? Lots of potions marked as stolen. But uh, amazingly, some of the clothes are, but not much. <gasps> all right. Keep your hands to yourself. One of the last things I do want to do, though, is head down into the sewers. And uh, this is a little bit more metagamey. It's because there are some spiders in here. And and I knew this from, from exploring a little bit earlier. And we have Command Animal, you see. If we can get them close enough. So I'm get, I'm gonna do a quick F5 because I don't know how um how far away this spell actually works. Nice. Thought I heard something. So it did it to all of them. <laughs> oh, is there something else trying to attack me? I think there's a slaughter fish or something. But uh, here's the best part, right? We can fight these and they won't fight back. And then we can extract from them. Which is really freaking valuable for training. Wow, look at that, we even got a level up too. I don't think we've done any uh, training for the, the current level though, so. Skeever tail? Nice. Launch on that. And now we can extract all of our venom here, right? Ta-da! Maybe there's something we can steal from the Hall of the Dead. Dead aren't gonna complain. Apples. Is this asking us? No, no, no they're, they're in here. So we'll just casually threaten them in the Hall of the Dead here. I'd appreciate it if you don't bother my wife, Tova. She's still in mourning. Uh, do we have any alcoholic drinks? Uh, you need to pay the Arganians a fair wage. Those boots aren't worth the septums I do pay them. I'm not giving them coin I could give to good Nord workers. Bold mm -hmm. words. Nice. But true. Fine, you win. I'll pay, pay the more. Argonians more coin. Lead. Do I have any alcoholic drinks? Oh, I have the yeah, firebrand wine. I'm still coming to terms with my daughter's death. Oh look, there's all this silver around here that we can just take. But apparently nobody cares about. Well, I'm on board with that. I don't think we're gonna find anything else, though. But uh no, okay. okay. He didn't seem to mind. The last thing we will do, though, is uh, I'm pretty sure... At least in this backpack here... That, uh, oh my god, look, this isn't marked as steel either, right? We can just... Great! How lovely! Alright, let's go sell some stuff. I don't know what's up with that. Apparently, we must have killed somebody that uh, somebody else didn't like. So we're getting all sorts of free stuff. I got a pretty full stock of potions and out. <sighs> he's still open, so huh? Close to the answer. Impressive. Oh, but he's going upstairs. Excellent. All right, that's right. Go upstairs. Shh. 
What else can we reach here? Very quiet. What's our carry weight at? Oh, we have. We're we're fine. What's he have? Right? Yeah, not much. I don't know what we'll be able to reach. But we have to be quiet. We have to be careful. But if we do it right, we'll be able to sell everything right back to him. Take a look. <laughs> Look at that, look at that. Fortify pickpocket. We might be able to use that. So we're gonna hold on to it. A crude, crude stamina potion like that, eh. Probably won't be able to utilize that. Lawless amethyst here, enjoy. And all these bones, I don't know what we're gonna do with those. <laughs> Hope to see you again soon. This guy really is blind. But we're taking full advantage of that. Some of them we will not be able to sell. Because they're too valuable. Let's see, any, anything else? I think that might be it. I think we might have cleaned them out. Grab a couple of other ingredients here though. And now we can learn all of the uh, ingredients that we didn't know before. Oh, so stressful, so stressful. Cause all he has to do is turn, right? But I mean, he's an old man. So that certainly helps. All the ingredients. Blah. Not bad. Ah, oh, so you're an alchemist then. <laughs> Sell as much as we can. We're keeping that. Yeah, any of the fortify ones or, or these crude resist potions, we just don't care about. Until next time. Do you have anything upstairs, maybe? Tap root. Nice vampire dust. Oh, uh, hello, hello. Looks like he's headed back downstairs. We could steal that loot. I mean, we're already stealing a bunch of loot, but... Yeah, they really don't care that we're in here, huh? <laughs> we're just running right around. What's he got? A key. Ooh, their strong box. <laughs> is 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 uh, Harada here the the Wood Elf version of me? I wouldn't say that. My goodness. Let's steal everything. Let's steal everything. <gasps> Recipes. They're only worth a hundred gold each. But I mean, watching him shift and move. Oh no, they're only worth 10 gold each. Got an illusion level up though. Yeah. Ah, well, he bought them for their value. <laughs> Steal the slaughterfish right off the wall. <laughs> Let's see, anything else that we need to learn the traits of? Yeah, the Jazz Bay Grapes, Nordic Barnacle. All right, that's enough. We've taken everything from them. <laughs> uh, so it's around 9 p.m. in game. 
We still have. Spare a few coins to help someone who's oh, got you know nothing. what? Um. Spare up to no good, are we? We're gonna steal a horse, I'll so we're gonna try and get as uh, many levels as we can here, and then we're gonna head down to Riften. So we were able to get four levels. Oh my god, are we gonna get a level up? No, no. Okay, I was like, there's no way. Elf. All right, let's get the heck out of this town. <laughs> All right, can we, can we? Can... No, we're, we are jumping up over this. This is happening. There we go, see? All right, time to go. Woo! Pines Grove. We'll spend the night in Kynes Grove. Let's see if we can't claim this silly horse is ours. Here we go, adopt. Uh, we need a horse name. What are we gonna name our horse? Teardrop. I love it. Oh no, wait a minute. Okay, excellent. They're all still here. It was like. Let's, uh. Oh, Rogi. If you're feeling charitable, buy the Norda Mead. He's good for it. Who's Rogi? He's been in Kynes Grove forever. Great storyteller. Keeps everyone's spirits up. Owes me a lot of coin for drinks. I keep telling him not to worry about it, but he's got the stubborn Nord blood. Damn fool doesn't have the coin to pay me back, so he just beats himself up over it, and then he gets thirsty, and it cycles all over again. Hmm, maybe I could talk if to him. If you could convince him that I don't care about his tab, it'd certainly make me feel better. Let's sate that appetite. Do you... Oh my god, she finally has some beef stew. My goodness. And, uh, here, I need a water refill. Of course. Excellent. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. And spending I'll the show night. You to your room. Right this way. An outsider. Huh. Yeah. No, but I can certainly share a bit of what I know. Alteration. Interesting. So give me a free level. So we'll take it. Right? Who are you? Oh, oh, we get the the big fancy room, huh? Yep, yep, hey, okay. Thank you. Yeah, we really do get the big fancy room. Be careful. <laughs> We're trying to be subtle, is it working? She has a bunch of freaking gold back there. Did you see my husband already? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. <laughs> hey, I have a 13 Nord mead to sell for 40 gold. All right then. <laughs> wow, it sure is a uh, welcoming community you have here. If you There's bring Rogi. mead, you're welcome here. Ah, even if you don't, you're still welcome. Uh, you should forget the what coin you owe. What do you think owe. I am? A beggar? My family has always paid back every single coin we owed. Going back to Tiber Septim's time. Should, okay, what do you think? Should we try to convince him or should we beat the crap out of him? Two different options, right? Do we want the combat? Bro, everybody's like, beat him up. What do y'all have against this poor guy? All right, we're, we'll beat him up, but we're gonna have breakfast first. Goodness, you savages, right? And there's no better way to start the day than with a freaking piece of raw human right. flesh, right? All this talk, what do you think I am? A beggar? I don't have to take that from you. Come on. Oh my God, he's level 20. What have you done, chat? 
This man's gonna murder me. I'm still thirsty too. God, that's one punch? Here, we could use the armor level. What's with all these people using skooma to their advantage? <laughs> He's level 20. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. Here, all right, we gotta... Gotta unequip that. You throw a mean hook. Listen to reason. I get your point. Tell Idra I'm sorry for being so stubborn about the coin. <laughs> All right, well. Now I think it's every time you cast this, yeah, you get a, a restoration level, so. What a display of color. All right, he won't be complaining about the gold It'll he owes anymore. It'll be good to not have to hear him whining about his debts. Rogi pawned a few of his things back when he still had things to pawn. Take them. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we're we're now over encumbered with the stuff you gave. That's helpful. You need a drink? You just let me know. Well, what are we gonna do with that? Yeah, beating up the locals and stealing everything they own. It's my job, okay? And uh, every time we cast this, we'll we'll get like a level up. So we uh, we're looking for southbound. So and I can see that the path is right there. So head this way, right? I think this is the, yeah, this is the correct way. Excellent. Here and we're we are trying to get a level up. So. Oh my god! Oh, what the hell? No! Ah! I'm out of stamina! So we'll just keep running it over. I missed? No! No! No, we're gonna die! This, no, we're not counting this. We are not counting that, okay? We're not counting getting flung up into the air as a legitimate death. Oh my god. No. That is not how this character dies, okay? That is not how this character dies. I'm not allowing that. <laughs> okay, that was hilarious. No <laughs> all right, all right. Wow, wow. All right, I guess I guess that's going to be how we end our episode, right? So that is not the end of our character. We um oh my goodness. So we'll that's where we'll be ending our episode, right? We're we're going to cast a few more healing auras next time to do our level up and we'll be continuing down to Riften. So <laughs> thank you. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye everyone. Ha ha ha.